Watch you guys, got another video here for you. In this one, we're gonna be taking a look at how we can fix Wi-Fi problems on a Windows 10 operating system. These fixes will also work with other versions of Windows as well, like Windows XP, Windows 7, Vista, 8, 8, 8 8.1 as well. So it depends on uh, what version of Windows you're running, but you should be running Windows 10 nowadays. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at how we can fix uh, our Wi-Fi problem. Now, some of these fixes can also be used uh, for Ethernet issues where you're not connecting via Ethernet and you can use some of these fixes for that as well. Okay, so just sort of bear that in mind as well. But we're concentrating on Wi-Fi today uh, on a Windows 10 operating system. So let's get started. So first off, um, if you can't connect to your uh, Wi-Fi, maybe there's a reason for it, i.e. you've tried to update uh, a driver, a Windows adapter driver, or maybe it's uh, some sort of issue where you've uh, updated your Windows and it's now uh, gone corrupt. You may have a corrupt uh, Windows file. It could be a firewall blocking it or uh, antivirus blocking it or something like that. There's many different reasons for it. And so I'm going to go through all the steps that you need to take uh, to try and rectify this, okay? Now watch the whole video because there may be a step that you've missed which will fix your problem. So let's get started. So let's hit the start button and go to uh, settings here and first start off with update and security. Now inside here you can see we've got an update failed and this could also trigger an issue with your Wi-Fi and it also means that if you've been successful and updated Windows sometimes your uh, Wi-Fi can drop out as well. So we're going to go to troubleshoot here on the left hand side. Let this run and you want to look in the troubleshoot area for internet connections. Click on here and then run the troubleshooter for that, okay? Now I'm just gonna go through these, but you may see some differences here, but you just need to run through the whole thing, okay? So troubleshoot my connection to the internet, let it go through. It will show you available uh, networks in your area if you're using Wi-Fi here, so click on this and it will pop up. Make sure you connect on the Wi-Fi, which is yours, and put in your password and connect to that, okay? If you're still having issues, then we can skip this area here and you can see the Ethernet adapter has been disabled. And you can try fixing it by clicking on try these repairs as an administrator. And you click on this and it will try to repair these, okay? Now moving on to uh, step two, what we're gonna do here is try to reset the Wi-Fi adapter. Now to do that, you need to go to start, settings. Inside here, you wanna go network and internet. You can see we're not connected here. You've got the troubleshoot underneath here as well. That's another way to get to troubleshoot. And from here, you want to go all the way down to the bottom and see network reset. So click on this one and you can see here reset now. This will remove uh, and reinstall your network adapter. Okay, that's what it's going to do. And set other network adapters back to the original settings. So you might need to reinstall other network software afterwards, such as your VPN client and so on. So that's good there. So we're going to go uh, reset now. Click yes. And this will then start to log off and uh, reset, reset your uh, network. Okay. That's just going to start to uh, restart and boot back up. So let it do its thing. Okay. Once that's restarted, you should hopefully have your re resetted network and you should be back up and running. Okay, now if you still have any issues, you can move on to this next next step, which is update your Wi-Fi adapter. So you wanna come down to the start button again, right click on this one and go to device manager. This will open up device manager here. Let me just expand this. There we go. So what we wanna do here is come down to where it says network adapters, open this up and you will see your network adapter here. This is your Wi-Fi uh, network adapter. Yours may be a different name or a different type. You wanna make sure that there's no uh, exclamation marks, uh, red crosses or anything like that here, or any sort of disabled. So if you're seeing something like uh, disabled or something like that, just enable it, okay? So you should see this here. Now you can see this is a Realtek RT uh, version uh, wireless LAN, you can see here. And this is a USB version, but if yours is on a laptop, you may want to uh, check to make sure that is enabled and running. So from here, we can right click on our Wi-Fi adapter here, 
and you can up, try and click on update driver. So you want to make sure you try and update that and if you can't do it from there you can always go to properties here and you can see make sure the drive is working properly this device is working properly you can also go to the driver it will tell you what data is and what version you are running so you want to go to their website and get the latest version you can either go to the manufacturer's website of your laptop or the maker of that actual uh, Wi-Fi card so if it's TP-Link or any of those uh, you go to their website and download the driver from there okay now if you're looking at the Realtek website here you can go direct to the source and get it there you can see I've typed in this number here which is the number for the Realtek model you can see it here okay so that's it there RT you can see it there, RTL 8192CU you can put that into the search and then click go and hopefully it will find your Wi-Fi driver now if you click on the update here you can either install it directly that way or you can click on update driver this way and go to browse my computer for driver software make sure you got include subfolders here and you can browse this and locate your driver and install it that way or you can say let me pick and you can always try to install it from here again by clicking next and it will then install the device driver for that okay and you can see it there now another thing that you may want to do is try to uh, disable it and enable that driver again now also you can uh, disable the device and re-enable it that's sometimes another thing that you can try and sometimes doing this does make it work you can see we now have a little arrow there and that device has been disabled and just re-enable it by hitting enable you can also try another USB port on your computer try and plug it into the back of the computer because sometimes the top um, ones on the top of the case don't work and if it's a laptop then obviously you're not using a dongle uh, obviously you you will be using the built-in Wi-Fi uh, but just make sure the Wi-Fi uh, network card is not broken and uh, you may need to replace that and you can always try a little dongle just in case uh, that is broken and get get around that also we're going to take a look here at uninstalling the device you can also uninstall the device which is also another good thing that you can try here and uh, just click uninstall and then reboot the computer uh, and then it should uh, come back on if not you can always reinstall that device driver it may have got corrupted in some way and reinstalling it is also a good way of trying to fix uh, that issue So that's just quickly rebooting there. Okay, so that's rebooted. So what we need to do is go back into Device Manager here and just check to make sure it's come back. So here we go. And you can see it's come back. Now sometimes doing that will fix the issue because sometimes what happens is this has got corrupted in some way and just uninstalling the device and rebooting will automatically uh, get it fixing, fixed and get it working again so what we're going to do here is move on to the next step so I'm going to go into here again properties and another thing you can try is go over to where it says power management here and just make sure you take the tick out of allow this computer to turn off this device to save power because sometimes that can cause an issue and then click OK So one more thing while we're inside here and we want to go to driver here and there's a rollback here you can see that has been grayed out and if you see rollback driver this area here uh, you can click on this and this is a previous driver that may have worked on your computer so it's an older type driver that was working and you've updated that driver and now it's not working this is very common and sometimes having this feature here means you can click on this and roll back but you can see we do not have any previous drivers on here now if that is the case you can always go to the website and download the previous version so don't always download the latest version download the previous version to the one you had installed and you can tell that's the previous version uh, by looking at the driver date here okay and the driver version here always go back for the version before that and hopefully that fixes you uh, and gets you back up and running 
So next up, we're going to go down to the search box here and go power and sleep. So you can see power straight away. You can see power and sleep set settings here. Click on this one. So what we're going to do is go to additional power settings here and click on the right hand side. And you can see here what you want to do is go to a change in your plan settings here. So click on this and then we can go to change advanced uh, power settings here. And this will open up this box here. And then you want to come down to where it says wireless adapter settings here. Click this little plus sign and power saving mode. You can see here, just make sure that says maximum performance and that is running on maximum performance and not maximum power saving because that can cause an issue there. Okay, next up is a pretty simple one. If you're running any third party software like a firewall or antivirus program like a vast um, Bitdefender, any of those, okay, you want to disable them temporarily and then uh, see if your network comes back because sometimes these can block it and a firewall setting may have blocked that. Now, if you don't know how to do that, I've not got any installed on here, but if you have got them installed, then you can go into here and temporarily disable them for one hour or 15 minutes to see if the internet comes back on. Another quick way of doing it without disabling any of those is going into safe mode with networking. And to do that, all you need to do here is push the shift key down Hold the shift key down and then restart your system. Or you can go to start settings and uh, go into here and you want to go to recovery. OK, so what we want to do here, let me just see where that is. Update and security and recovery. Go into here and you can see here restart now and this will go into advanced startup. Click this and this will take us straight into the advanced startup, which is here. Go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and in startup settings, you can see here, go into there, and you can see here now restart, and we're going to enable safe mode here. So go restart. Okay, what we want to do here now is click on enable safe mode with networking. So it's number five. So click number five on your keyboard. Okay, so once into safe mode here, if you have uh, internet access now then you know that it was something to do with uh, your software that you've installed i.e. your firewall or antivirus or something like that or antivirus firewall has been installed and it's blocking you okay and that's another quick way of testing that you can also boot into a live cd which is like a windows live cd or linux live cd and see if you get access to the internet from there if you don't then there's possibility that your hardware has failed like your wi-fi card and your nic card or something like that or your dongle that you're using has been broken and you need to replace it because there's an issue because you should always get internet from that uh, uh, location there when you boot to a live environment okay as long as the driver is loading okay you should still get internet access now also in safe mode here you'll notice that uh, nothing is running here everything is just basic and you should still have internet access here and you should have internet access in safe mode here as you can see here everything should be working fine and if that is the case then you know it is software related okay so we're back at the desktop now now another thing that you can check is to make sure all the services are running so come down to the search box and type services and then click on the services tab here and uh, once you're inside here you want to go to all your network services so we're going to first go to down to the ends here so we can look at network here so we're looking for network connections here you can see here anything with your network just make sure everything is running okay list you can see let uh, network list services make sure that is running everything is running okay here you can see it running uh, network location awareness you can see that is running there as well and uh, let's see here network store interface that is all running the network connections broker that is running And uh, another area you want to check as well is uh, 
let's get to the wireless LAN here. Got your service here. That's been stopped. That's okay. And we're just going to go through here. There. This is the one. This is your wireless. You can see here on the left hand side it will give you some information here to what you're looking for and you can see it's related to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so just click on this and make sure that that is running. That's important. This one is the most important one because this is your Wi-Fi. If this is not running or it's been stopped, then you have no Wi-Fi on there. Okay, and it's not running properly. Next up, you want to go into your router and check your router settings. As you can see here on here, this is a Virgin Media router. Uh, but yours will be this, uh, a different uh, look to it, but it will be the same thing. You will need to make sure that the Wi-Fi is enabled on there. Sometimes you can disable Wi-Fi feature on your router. If it has been disabled, then you won't be able to get Wi-Fi uh, from that router. Uh, so you need to enable it and make sure everything is running properly. Okay, you should see your Wi-Fi devices that are running. If you don't, then it has been disabled and you need to enable uh, that Wi-Fi on there, okay? Okay, so the next thing you can do is uh, reset the windsock and also uh, reset your IP and release and uh, renew and flush the DNS. And you can do that as well by doing that in the command prompt. So let's go ahead and do that now. D here, and we're gonna right click on this and run this as administrator. Okay, so here we are now. So the first one we want to do is net sh and then windsock. Oop, windsock, and then we want to go reset and push enter. There we go. And then we also want to do net sh space int and then ip and then reset. You can see that's gone ahead and done those for us. Now we can do IP config space forward slash release. There we go. And uh, we can do IP config space forward slash renew. And that's just going to renew that. And there we go. And there we go, IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Like so. And there we go. Hopefully that has resolved your issue. If it's not, then um, we can move on to something else here. Okay, the last but not least is to check your laptop. And on your keyboard, you will see what you're seeing here. There'll be an icon, which is your Wi-Fi icon. And if this has been disabled by using the function key, then you won't be able to get a Wi-Fi. And this is a very common issue uh, with a lot of laptops. Now, the, the Wi-Fi icon could be in many different places along that top area there. So it may be on the uh, print screen key. It could be just about anywhere along there. So just look for that Wi-Fi icon, push the FN key and make sure you enable it to make sure that it is running, okay, and enabled. And also inside your... Uh, settings area here just make sure that you do have Wi-Fi enabled okay so inside here you want to make sure that Wi-Fi is turned on and uh, that it is running and you are using your Wi-Fi okay okay so I think that's just going to be about it I think we've covered just about every sort of basic thing that you can do to try and get your Wi-Fi working again if it's not working after all those fixes that we've done here then it's probably something more um, sinister like a, a hardware issue or some sort of corruption with Windows which will take a lot more uh, investigation a lot more work to do and it's far too much to cover in this one video you can see it's been a long video already anyway but I hope this one's helped you out I hope this gets your Wi-Fi back up and running my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos